Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today I'd like to talk with you about how to make a C++ program work on other computers. Now, C++ refers to the source code that the program was written in, not to the executable. The executable is typically compiled from a compiler and is pretty particular to the uh, operating system it's being run on and the hardware that it's being run on. So, so typically, unless you have some sort of an emulation environment, you won't be able to run the executable on another platform. However, there is something out there called, there's VMware and there's VirtualBox and some of these virtual machines that will allow you to run a virtual system on your, uh, whatever system you have, Linux, Windows, Macintosh, or whatever. You can use that to run a virtual Windows or Linux box um, on uh, VirtualBox. Uh, you can't run a virtual Macintosh on a Linux or Windows box. Uh, Macintosh is a closed system. Um, but in that case, then you could install uh, the operating system that your, your target is, and you can run uh, your, uh, the application virtually. However, if you're writing programs and you want to make your programs uh, compatible across multiple platforms, you want to know about the, the C standard template library. Uh, this page here yo, on yolinux.com gives some great tutorials on it. If you stick with these data types and data structures, uh, you can make your own custom data structures, but don't go to platform-specific data structures and, and things like that, platform-specific uh, operating system calls. Then you can pretty much recompile your source code on any system. Now, if you want to go uh, into the, the GUI front ends, it's good to use some of the cross-platform available GUI applications or packages out there, like Qt is a, a good one that's, that's a cross-platform that you can use to make GUIs. Um, this page here has lots of tutorials on it that can help you uh, come up to speed on how to use Qt. And then finally, there's another one called uh, Boost. And this page here, this has got a wonderful page it's full of all sorts of tutorials, and it's got a section on Boost. And there's lots of other tutorials out there. Uh, just do a Google search on Qt Boost, or you can go C++ cross-platform, or whatever. There's, there's lots of options out there. But again, if you want to stick with the STL libraries, and then co go with a cross-platform set of libraries for your GUI and networking and things like that, then you can make uh, C++ programs that will work on other computers. My name is Matthew Pierce. Today we talked about how to make C++ programs that work on other computers. Thanks for watching.